Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockeiner. Today's story is Post-it Passwords. You'd think in 2018, when cyber insecurity is mainstream headlines almost every day, that organizations would stop posting passwords on post-it notes stuck to a monitor, at least critical organizations. But apparently that's not the case. As you might know if you're a US citizen or even any citizen around the world, over the weekend, citizens of Hawaii had a rude wake-up call when a emergency announcement system sent uh, text messages to their mobile phones warning of an incoming ballistic missile. Now I think we all know this turned out to be a false warning and apparently it was a human error. Someone pressed the wrong button when they used a interface to text these sorts of messages. However, today's news story is equally surprising and quite ironic. One news organization that was interviewing folks at the Hawaiian Emergency Agency got a picture of that particular individual at his workstation. Lo and behold, if you zoomed in on that picture, you would have seen the password which said warning point two. And this is really a surprising thing to see coming from an organization that's pretty critical to Hawaii citizens. It's also pretty funny that apparently another monitor had a post-it note with a reminder for the user to sign out. Now this isn't the first and unfortunately this probably isn't the last time that some user is going to stick a password somewhere with a post-it note. You might remember from months ago when I talked about a hack that affected a French TV agency during an interview with some of the folks from that TV channel, they actually found a post-it note with a password as well. It seems to be a pretty common problem. Now while I do find this story somewhat ironic and a little bit humorous, it is actually pretty darn dangerous to have these passwords in post-it notes. So what is the practical takeaway here? Well the obvious takeaway is don't use post-it notes for passwords. If for whatever reason you haven't adopted password managers and you really want to write down a long password that's hard to remember, at the very least put it in your wallet or somewhere on your person that other people can't get. But better yet, just don't write down passwords at all. However, the biggest practical takeaway is one I've mentioned many times before. No matter what your authentication token is, a password, a certificate, a biometric, a hardware token, many other types of tokens out there, there are different ways of different levels of difficulty where hackers might be able to steal or find that token and reuse it. That's why really the best solution to this problem is to force multi-factor authentication. I believe this year is the year that multi-factor authentication becomes ubiquitous even among smaller businesses. It's now cheaper and easier to actually use for even the smallest business. Now maybe you don't need to use two-factor authentication for everything, but if you have any critical systems or you run an emergency agency, you probably should be using multi-factor authentication. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.